A Providence councilman proposes a way to end the impasse that might keep a $40 million bond question off the ballot. His proposal? Give the council the option to bypass the voters. Genius! Are you kidding me? I'm surprised this isn't just policy. There is a proposed $40 million city infrastructure bond caught up between the city council and the mayor's office. The council says that it needs more information, and the mayor's office is warning that there isn't enough time to review more thoroughly and get the question on the ballot. The grand compromise plan comes directly from the council's finance committee chairman, John Igliozzi. He asserted that he spoke for himself, not the council on a whole, when he suggested that they could develop wording that could go on the ballot and reserve the council's right to either approve or disapprove the final issuing of the bond if the voters pass the question. So let's brainstorm a little bit, see what that means. You make the question so vague and non-threatening, the voters pass it without too much thought, and then the council really gets to decide. Then what's the point of the vote? If you're just going to do what you want anyway, then come out with it already. But if you actually want or have to make it democratic, then it has to be democratic. This bond would pay for a street and sidewalk improvements, as well as work on playgrounds, recreation centers, and other city buildings. I drive in Providence every day. I am totally fine with repairing roads. But Ward Councilwoman Joanne Ryan says she is uncomfortable adding new debt while the city struggles to pay off its existing $532 million general obligation debt. So here's another way around the impasse. It might seem morbid to say this in August, but we're all New Englanders here. Winter is coming. The roads are going to get futzed again before we know it. It's not like you're going to start all the work right away. Take your time to think it through, everything, word it fairly on the ballot, then let the people decide. The roads will still suck next year, just saying. Are you kidding me?